Hey, hey, ain't you kind of boy KT? I oh, was up, you looking for me? Hey, what's up with the Kyle the Gang? Oh! Hey, y'all don't know what it is. Y'all already know who it is. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with the tube game? What's good? What's good? What's going on with the Kyle Pack? Hey, y'all know how we do it. Oh! Hey, y'all don't know what it is. Y'all don't know who it is. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy KT, man. Y'all back on the channel. Uh, pretty much, I hope everybody's having a good Easter Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Doing their thing with family and friends. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the kids doing a little Easter egg hunt and stuff like that. Pretty dope. Anyway, I know you guys see the thumbnail, and yes, your boy decided to boost his Mustang GT. You know what I'm saying? I did it. Now, what's gonna suck about this video is a little bit is this was supposed to be kind of an install video, but for some odd reason, my GoPro decided to lose the file. The SD card got corrupted somehow. I don't know what happened. So, yeah. So, I have the end part that I did for some reason. The beginning part is what I lost. So I will be just kind of going through, explaining to you guys what I did in the beginning part and just kind of fill in what a missing gap is. Um, so, hey, get down in the comment section. Hey, let me know what y'all think I did as far as adding boost. And then when y'all see the engine bay of what I did, when the camera comes back on, all you guys' questions will be explained. So, here we go. Let's get to it. All right, you guys. So, the ones who said nitrous, you guys are correct. I do have everything installed already. Um, the tank is empty, but I'm just going to fill in the beginning part of what I did. So first of all, the most important thing that you do when you install nitrous, you disconnect the battery. So, I disconnected my battery. coming through with the bikes so pretty much like i'm saying disconnect the battery and then uh once you do that um i started with the throttle play first um i have a bracket and so pretty much you take out the four 10 millimeter uh bolts and then when you take the uh bolts out then the throttle body comes out and then once you have that out you take the plate and then you pretty much you put the plate up against the uh intake and then after you do that, you put the throttle body, as you can see, on top of the plate, which is against the front of the intake. Then, um, cause all this will also come off too. And then you have the plate on there that you'll torque with the specs. And then um, pretty much you're gonna run, run your, um, your lines right here. You have these short little lines you just screw them on there to your solenoid this is the nitrous solenoid and this is the fuel solenoid and then you'll get them on there and then pretty much after that you will go to the wiring part as of right now i got um a 75 shot jets on here i have the uh nitrous jetting that goes right here on this side of the uh plate and I have the fuel side jetting that goes on this side. And then the jet numbers, uh, if you look them up, it'll tell you what equals what shot. Like I said, I got a 75 shot on here right now. I still have to um, get the tune from Lund. And once I get the tune from Lund, then I'll be able to actually run the nitrous. Um, I'll also be adding a, a booster pump on here one, if I ever do exceed 100 or more of a shot so if i go 100 shot or more like towards 150 i'll be adding a booster pump and then we'll talk about that on another video but as for right now with the 75 shot i'm just gonna be running off of e85 and um 
pretty much 85 the nitrous tune for right now all right you guys so we're a little bit further down the process you can see i got my wires wired and i also i got a diagram right here if you have this uh system right here and you have a 2018 to newer mustang gt all the wires should be the same so if you want to stop the video to get the picture of this diagram go ahead or if you just want to watch the wires i'm about to kind of show you where the wires are going so pretty much you see the uh, large black wire that's the ground it's going right there as you can see then we have the programmer, which I just have it right here for right now. Um, then we got the small black wire, which is running to the switch that's inside. You also seen that. Then we also have a white wire going from the, uh, the progressive controller. Then you got it right here. It's also part of the switch. Um, also, you got the green wire that's right here and pretty much you got the green going to the positive tap number one core pack as you can see green wire right here going through there tap into the number one core pack right there then you also have uh, the white and blue and the white and red tap to this positive tap going to the accelerator pedal the acceler pedal right here and pretty much the blue and white wire right here white and red one of these white and red uh i think there's this one white and red going through there come here got a little light come up here to the gas pedal right there if you guys can see it with a positive tap at now you got the nitro solenoid fuel solenoid which is right here in the front they're both going to positive twist which is going to a, another positive twist which is going to the relay harness here's the relay harness right here and you see both of these tap running over here to the relay and also the relay has this wire right here which is going to the power terminal and the fuse box right there which is also this small wire right here for the i mean the small wire is the green one that's grounded and that's the orange wire right here to the positive battery which i have to the fuse box right here next we're going to be plumbing the uh, uh nitrous and pretty much uh it goes to this uh, the bottom of this solenoid down here then pretty much gonna run it around then it's gonna go through this hole not the hole you run the wires through i'm sorry where's that hole oh right here right over here you're gonna run it to this hole right off of here so it should be a rubber stopper in there that's right up under that screw that you see right here is right up under that and knock that in and then you should be able to run it through the inside of the car pretty much got the wire just kind of coming under the uh Cooling hoses right there underneath the throttle body. So gotta come in under there, plumb it to that hole I was telling you about. And then if you can uh, do it by hand, but if you just want to take a screwdriver, uh, pop this little panel off right here, you can see. And then I just ran the lines up in the panel. I just got it sitting in the back seat for, uh, for now. All right, so don't crucify my switches, but pretty much uh, this one comes with the kit. Um, this is on the off switch to arm everything. And then with that on, this is the, um, the little mini programmer. And then you just kind of hold both these down. It'll be pro. Then it going through all these numbers and stuff i'm just gonna go through them on channel one that's how you can program the nitrous to come on um what rpm to come on and stuff like that when to shut off what delay to ramp because um with this controller i can ramp my nitrous up in stages uh, like i don't have to come out with a whole 75 100 or 150 shot whatever shot you're running i can come out with a um like 20% I come out with like you know 
20 or uh, a 30 shot off of the first initial wide open throttle. And then as I increase in RPM, I can um, ramp it up to full power of the 75 shot. And then at like 7,500, whenever I reach uh, 7,500 on the RPM, it'll shut off just to kind of help protect everything. So this is the part that's gonna kind of suck. Uh, I looked at my kit and I don't have any mounting screws and I don't have none on me right now, so I'm gonna go get some. But nevertheless, I think you guys will get this part. So I'm in the trunk right now and I have my two brackets. If, I, if you wanna put your nitrous system or your nitrous tank in the back, you can mount it right here on this material part of the trunk. Or you can raise this up and actually drill this down to the uh, body or either left or right of the trunk. You can drill it down to the body if you have any screws. So pretty much those where the brackets go kind of sits like this. They're not going to sit up by themselves, I don't think. So sit something like that, you know, and uh, just put the tank in there and then you'll be good. Hey, what a day. It's every day, all day. There's more in the game. We are packed. So till then, y'all know what's fine.